Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review. Back to the controller build-a-figure wave, this time with Harold Thor. Now, I believe Thor was a Herald of Galactus in the past at one point. I could be wrong about that, but this version right over here I'm familiar with from reading the King in Black storyline. And then uh, Danny Cates went on to write a Thor book based off of this version of Thor over here. And I remember him fighting Null, and it was a pretty fun read, man. Box is looking pretty dope. Uh, you get nice images of Thor on the side of the packaging. And then on the back, you can see there's a read-up over there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then you get a Mjolnir logo right there, spot varnished on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. But first, if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here's the Harold Thor figure out of the packaging, and it looks really good. I like this figure so far already. He has a lot of new skull. I don't think I see any reused parts over here, so that immediately makes me happy to see. And again, I think this is a very cool version of Thor. So we do get some accessories to look at, so let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the Herald Thor. So this Thor figure comes with the Build-A-Figure piece. You get a set of fisted hands, and then you get a Mjolnir holding hand, which has a horizontal hinge, and then a wide open hand over here, and these three have the vertical hinges. And then you get Mjolnir along with the lightning effect, and then you you get Odin's Ravens, or not Ravens, technically. They never were Ravens, I guess, and they have new powers where Thor can speak through them, and as they're always hovering around Thor, uh, they create a force field around him. So that's pretty neat. And these do look really good. Uh, nice details right here. Uh, I think Hasbro's been doing a pretty good job with their animals. I, I don't know if it's Huggin and Muggin or Hugin and Mugin, but I think it's Hugin and Mugin, but I kind of wish it was Huggin and Muggin. Anyway, that's pretty sweet looking right over there. Not too pointy or anything. Uh, if you wanted to get these on his arm, you know, it's kind of tricky. But if you want to, like, deal with this sleeve, I, I was able to make it work. You have to mess around with it. And I feel like this is a new Mjolnir. I don't remember seeing this before. It does not rotate over here. And it's all translucent blue plastic. And it looks really good. I like that detail right there. And then you have this new lightning effect, which I haven't seen before. Very bendable material. Nice and pliable. So you could kind of wrap it around Mjolnir any way you want. And that works out very well. One thing I got to complain about is the Mjolnir holding hand. This is not the grip that I would hope it would have. Uh, you can see that it's a little bit more loose in his hand than I'd like it to be. And it seems like a minor complaint. But if you tilt it like this way, it starts to come out of his hand, and that's really frustrating. So I wish they had a more firm grip on the Mjolnir. I did find some frustration with this. <laughs> I may have a couple more complaints about this figure, but for the most part, I think this figure is freaking sick. Especially after reading King in Black, it just made me look forward to this figure so much more. Now, a little complaint right here. It seems like we have some extra glue coming off the hair. But I gotta say, the hair is sculpted really well. I really feel like they hit the mark as far as making this look like Thor from King in Black and from the Thor series from Danny Cates afterwards. He's got the really thin blonde hair right here. There is a little paint splotch, which I do need to take off with an X-Acto knife. But other than that, it looks pretty good. There is a little bit of color variance over here. It's very subtle, but there is color variance with that blonde. It's all wafting off right over here. The white paint right there looks really clean to me. I like that texturing right here underneath. When you bend the figure back, you can see that they kept it up. Uh, the texturing changes when you go really, really far back right over there, though. Then you get these shoulders right over here with the pads. And you get that gunmetal gray for the chainmail looking really dope. You can tell it's mixed into the plastic. It's a really nice color. I do like it. Minor swirling right over here. But I haven't seen too much swirling in the more prominent or visible places. Ooh, that looks really bad in there. So, yeah, if you look for it, you'll find it. Ah, they can't solve that swirling issue. I've brought it up to Dwight so many times, and it looks like it's just never going to change, which is frustrating. Hopefully it does. But I like the leathering texturing that we're seeing right over here. The leathering texturing, huh? The leather texturing is what I meant to say. The hands look really good. And on this side, very similar. So the pattern's identical on each side. Again, nice white paint over here. The red looks nice and solid. Again, I like the texturing. Then more chainmail pa pattern right over there. It's not technically chainmail, right? I don't know the exact name for this armor, but that's what I keep calling it. When you bend this knee, you will see some gray sticking out. That looks weird. So I kind of wish that they were able to get a different color in that joint right there. 
So I guess they couldn't have gone with black, because if you bend the knee, you would see the black stick out from right there. I don't know. Maybe if they went with black, it would have been a better choice. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do like the red right over there. And yeah, man, this is all new plastic stuff. I don't remember seeing this anywhere before, uh, and we have no double-jointed elbows on this guy. We'll get into the articulation in a second, but we do get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And I do like the fade right over here with the red and purple. That looks really neat. Uh, I do like that. And then there's looking at the back of the cape, you have this white trim line going all the way down right over there, looking very clean. Kind of missed the mark a little bit down there, but for the most part, I like it. almost forgot to mention the asymmetric battle damage on the knee pads right over here. I just really like that attention to detail where it's not the same on each knee pad just very cool i like those little details oh man i'm so happy the dumbbell joint system was as short-lived as it was i hope it comes back less and less we do have a neck hinge in there and he has a lot of hair back here and it's fairly stiff plastic so you can't really get this thor figure to look up but because of that neck hinge we do get him just looking up a tad like he's just kind of looking up at i don't know like 20 degree angle maybe less uh, you can shift downward and it shifts forward and back uh, you can turn the hair side to side it does get tricky man but you can make it happen and there is some minor head pivoting in there no butterfly oh is that a butterfly joint i just feel like it's wiggling in there more so than a full-on butterfly joint but you could rotate a full 360 and they have the iron man armor kind of system right there where it's moving with the shoulder you can move the shoulders outward and then you have the bicep swivel and then only single jointed elbows right here they do meet at 90 degrees and they rotate at the elbow so kind of old school feeling right there they do have the lines sculpted in that joint which is actually kind of nice though i went over the hand articulation they all swivel and we talked about that you get a diaphragm joint a uh, decent diaphragm pivoting crunches forward a bit and back i gotta say uh, with all that movement right there and not having scuffage on the lower portion of that abdomen it makes me really happy and uh, you get hips that move outward i like how these can get out of the way and everything and he can kick forward that much and back a tiny bit upper thigh cut and then pinless double jointed knees and then you get the ankles that were very stiff for me i had to heat these up with a blow dryer i recommend you do that you can get them to shift down still a bit stiff even after using the hair dryer oh man it will shift up a bit right there and you do get beautiful ankle pivot clicky ankle pivot now to measure out this herald of thunder you can see that thor is standing just a little bit over seven inches tall and then to bust out just a few size comparisons you can see our herald of thunder next to the 80 years thor and then we have the return of marvel legends thor figure and thanks so much to all you that watched my dark days of marvel legends video if you hadn't checked it out uh, please check it out and yeah i got the return of marvel legends wave one wrong it was this one with the extremist iron man right remember that uh the terax build a figure wave Which we're getting a lot of reissued characters from that wave already but anyway then here's the new thor figure next to my customized null figure by the very talented frecky and yeah i got my wings to stay up i needed to heat the back up before putting them in that helped so much and yeah he is leaning forward quite a bit to accommodate for the weight of those wings so you can see how much taller null is than thor right over here and i did have a lot of fun posing these two together uh, stay tuned for the custom figure showcase video talking about a lot of cool custom stuff that video should be coming up this weekend so stay tuned ah oh, that looks so sick uh, I just had to pose him standing up like that. Ah, looks so freaking awesome. And for you customizers, I gave you a little head swap action right over there. Uh, the neck is a little bit long, so you may have to dremel inside the head a little bit, but I still think you can make this happen, right? Came across this picture right over here. Oh my God, it looks badass, right? I would love to see a figure of that. No, no, am I alone? I don't know. I think it's possible. Here's the new Thor figure next to some other heralds along with the HasLab Galactus. Yeah, I just used a clip from my HasLab Galactus video. All right, what could I say? I didn't want to take everything down from the shelf, man. It looks awesome where it is, right? But hey, it's cool having all these heralds. I know where this Thor is going. Then here's Thor next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have the US Agent Madam Hydra, Blue Marvel, Iron Man, Quake, and Speedball. And soon I will be reviewing the controller build a figure. Oh, so satisfying. Then after that, I'm jumping into Wakanda Forever wave figures. And then here's Thor next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Whoa, okay. I understand the purpose of having those birds hanging around you all the time, Thor, but, uh, you know, like, when they gotta poop, like, where are they gonna go, right? Like, where are they gonna land? You know, are they gonna get covered in poop or what, huh? Huh? Or since they're not technically ravens, is it gonna be, like, big poop or is it still, like, bird poop or is it, like, con- ah! 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to show some love to the channel if you want to by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And this figure was something that just really impressed me over time more and more, or something that I grew to like more and more over time. I gotta be honest, when I first saw this, I was like, what's this Goldilocks Thor figure? I don't need a contemporary Goldilocks. And then as I learned more about this version of Thor, I was liking it more, and then I was reading it and reading the King of uh, King in Black storyline. That was just making me really want this even more so. And the figure itself, even without knowing much about this version of Thor, I mean, it's a really cool Thor figure. It looks really good. I like the clean white paint apps over the black plastic. That was one thing I was actually kind of worried about, but I think my figure came out looking very clean. I think most people's figures came out looking pretty clean, but if you didn't, let me know in the comment section below. And I think the articulation is very good on this figure for the most part, so I'm really happy with that. I like the accessories. I mean, dude, there's really not a lot for me to complain about. Like, yes, I have my gripes, you know, but I think they're fairly minor compared to how much I like this figure. And at the price point, around uh, are we looking around 26 to 28 bucks i'm gonna give this herald of thunder a sud rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in marvel news and a photo gallery of images you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you'd like to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch TikTok, and on whatnot, where I auction off some of my extra figures. So I hope to see you at the next live stream, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.